NASA engineers this morning are working on the space shuttle Endeavor, trying to fix a heater problem that delayed its launch, and Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords is still hoping to watch her husband Mark Kelly's launch as commander of the shuttle. CBS News correspondent Don Teague is at the Kennedy Space Center with the latest. Hey, Don, good morning. Good morning, Rebecca. It was a disappointing day here at the Kennedy Space Center for a crowd that was expected to exceed half a million people for a highly anticipated launch, in part because Gabrielle Giffords was here to see it. It was supposed to be a dramatic turn in the recovery of Gabrielle Giffords and an important mission for NASA. The space shuttle Endeavour was set to launch into space Friday afternoon with astronaut Mark Kelly in command, his injured wife watching from a nearby building, and even President Obama and the first family on hand. Today the orbiter is not ready to fly. Instead, the launch was scrubbed, delayed at least three days because of trouble with the heaters on an auxiliary power unit. They generate the hydraulic power to move the wing flaps and to drop the landing gear as well as to move the nozzles of the main engines for steering. So it's a critical system. With the launch delayed by just a few days, Giffords will likely stay in Florida until the next attempt. Her friend and congressional colleague Debbie Wasserman Schultz says Gifford's recovery is going well and she's excited about her husband's mission. They live in a perpetual state of newlywed and so there's no place she'd rather be. President Obama followed through on his plans to come to the Kennedy Space Center and while he didn't see a launch, he and the first family had a brief tour of the facility, the president offering words of support to the crew, Mark Kelly, and later with Gabrielle Giffords. Well, we're told that meeting between Giffords and President Obama lasted about 10 minutes. They haven't released any details on what specifically was said. There are also no pictures of that meeting to protect Giffords' privacy. We also don't know exactly what Gabrielle Giffords' plans are if this launch were to be delayed more than just a couple of days, whether she'd return to Houston or try to stay here until the launch finally goes off. Rebecca? Don Teague at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you.